Nothing ever felt as good Or as easy As when we were young Oh, 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 oh. Though I felt misunderstood It was a pleasure Running away with you We were just children Acting like a dog Crazy, naive, bold and carefree Camino, and it's stunning. We've been up this early, but we have not been out this early before. And I think, I actually think the kids are convinced that they want to get up super early. One, they're competitive. They like to be the first ones out the door, which we were today. And number two, they said it's just beautiful and peaceful. And you can hear the birds and it's really lovely. Really lovely. Sure beats getting in at five or six, like slugging along through four hours of heat. It's, it does, it's it a does, lot cooler than it does. You know. It does get. I know we complain about how cold it is, but it does get really warm in the afternoons, some days. Welcome to day 15. We are. Well, hold on. We should be really quiet here. Okay. Welcome to day 15. <laughs> we woke up at six in the morning. Why am I? Why am I whispering? We are. We're already such, outside. We are such little mice in the morning. We're just so quiet getting up. The four of us. People. Not to. Not to brag. But people. <laughs> people do say when they wake up, they can't believe that the four of us got out and they, we didn't wake them. Well, but we, I think we've, we've actually we've mastered the art. We have that. improved. Will didn't. You didn't drop anything this morning. I dropped nothing. Will usually drops a couple things in the morning, like. <laughs> Early Not his computer, but something loud, like a, a power strip or something like that. Right. No, nothing like like a pen, but the, like like a like a brick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So where are we going today? We are going to Burgos. We're starting here in Aegis, Aegis, and we're going to Burgos. It's about Is it 21. Kilometers? 21 k around there. Um, it's gonna get warm. I'm actually wearing pants today, which is a first for me in, a, in like a week because my, my legs are burnt. I, think I, it, I, I like. actually think it's gonna get really, I think it's gonna get warm really fast today because I'm not normally, I'm usually freezing in the morning and it, we're up earlier and it's not that cold. Yep. So you All might right. have to switch to your shorts. We, um, tomorrow. Okay. Yep. I see you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there Cause I know you want it Afraid to let it show And I know you need it Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow I think it's time we stop tipping on our toes What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know I sure know you want it How do you feel, Avalon? Fine are you actually getting used to getting up in the morning this early? Not this early, but early, yes. Why, why, why is it different in the Camino than being at home in the RV? Because at home I can stay in my bed without someone kicking me out of it at 8 o'clock. And so you actually are, you're incentivized to get up and get out and be happy about it because you'd rather be able to, uh, to not be kicked out? Well, if I have no choice to be happy or miserable, what, what do you think I'd choose? So in other words, that's code for you saying that you like getting up in the morning. No, I don't. Yes, it is. No, I that's don't. That's what I heard. I can be miserable if you want. It's going to be not very fun on your end. <laughs> I still like that smile on you. Mm-hmm, daddy. This is part of our every day here, every morning. <laughs> it's lovely on the Camino in the morning. However, our primary reason for doing it is for, can you see my breath? Um, it's for shooting. The quality of the shooting is so much better in the morning when the light is really great and just coming up over the horizon. And by, for me, Lil's a little different, but for me, for shooting stills, by, wow, oh, that sounds really bright, bright uh, by about nine, 10, depending on the day, I can't really shoot much anymore. The shadows are too heavy. I can do some cool silhouettes and some dramatic stuff, but not really that much. Um, it's the best time to shoot is in the morning, really. I'm 
know you want it. Afraid to let it show. How'd you sleep last night, Largo? Pretty good. I wasn't cold. We <sighs> had a pillow. And I slept well. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, how about you, Avalon? Dinner was really good and I slept really well. Yeah, I didn't hear him. I don't hear anyone snoring. Maybe I was snoring. <laughs> um, we had everything Largo said. I thought it was really a nice, lovely stay. Will, how about you? There was a lot of people snoring last night. There were? Yeah. Oh, I must have slept really heavy then because I didn't Same hear anything. Here. You were one of them, Jess. <laughs> My allergies are really bad walking through all these fields, so it probably was me. All right. How does everyone feel this morning? Anything hurt? Um, um, my hips don't hurt as bad as I did yesterday. Okay. It's probably my feet that hurt the most, but they don't hurt that bad either. Okay, Largo? Like the balls of my feet hurt. Balls me. of your feet. My feet hurt very little today. Will? I'm a quite bit sore at this day. Really? What I don't hurts? know why. I don't know. I woke up this morning and I just my legs were a little just sore. I, really? It's because we didn't walk enough yesterday. That's the problem. Oh, that's not funny. We did a half day. Your body's going into shock. It's not used to it. Um, all right, so here we go. Our plan today is to catch our friend OK. You think we can catch oh, him? No, we cannot. We've got 85 kilometers to go today. <laughs> but he doesn't know that we're actually trying to catch him. He doesn't know. Yeah, because we our email we went sent to him didn't go out last night. Last night we had the we had really bad we had really bad internet, which we have not had on the trail yet, and we had really really bad internet. Which means yesterday's video did not go out as exactly, we expected to. Exactly. Exactly. No, wait. I do want to clarify that. The internet that is that is for you, free, within any place that we've stayed, has never been good. But Will and I have a plan, a European plan, and it usually gets us internet every place. But for whatever reason, we're way out in the middle of nowhere, and that didn't even work well yesterday. So if you're planning on working out the internet in the places you're staying, Get a SIM card. it's yeah, you're gonna have to buy a SIM card because I don't think it's gonna work very well. What do you see there, Evelyn? I think it's lots of goats. But wow, I'm not there sure. are lots of. Is those, those are, are they licking ice or salt? I can't look, even tell. Those are sheep that just got sheared. Yeah, I can't really tell. They look like sheep, but they also look like goats. Oh my gosh. They, they got their summer cut done. gentlemen it is 8 30 in the morning we've been walking for about two hours and we only got about an hour done the light is up the shooting is done it's time to hike it's almost 75 it's, degrees it's, it's gonna be our hottest day yet it's gonna be the hottest day yet this may be the day i walk in my underwear it's all uphill so grab an ice cream <laughs> grab a lemonade sit back relax and enjoy the ride and watch us go through the pain yeah i've been considering walking during the night like through the night like we're yes. nocturnal yes exactly and why are you considering that because in July it's going to be boiling. All right, we can take a family vote. I think I might be in for that. I'm in so what will we do? Go to bed at like six at night and get up at two in the morning and start hiking? Yeah. I don't think that any of the hostels are open at six. That's true. Where will we get coffee at four in the morning? We might have to rig our own setup. Oh my gosh, that's like actually roughing it. <laughs> I don't think we can do that. So how would we execute this plan? How would you see it? Tell me the play out. I'd say we'd get up and we'd, well, first of all, to adjust, we'd have to like stay up until two in the morning. Okay, and hike till two in the morning? No, start hiking at eight o'clock at night. Oh, okay. And well. then hike until like, um, I'd say four o'clock in the morning. Okay. And then find a hostel and um, sleep there. The problem is most of them don't let us in until one. But I think we'd be so tired we could just sleep on the grass someplace. No. What do you think? But that's a good idea. I like it. Laura, would you say that the Camino is generally a flat course? I mean, there, it has its up and downs, but yeah, it's pretty flat. Yeah, do you think like there's, there's challenging hikes at all, or do you think it's just like 
perfect for a 10 year old who wants to get up and, and use all their energy. There are challenging hikes. There are, huh? But I have experience with Ecuador, so it's easy. It's easy, huh? Yeah. If Florida can do it, anyone can do it, right? Wow. All right, we made it to the top. <laughs> the top of the Sierra de Atapuerca, which I think that may say, I'm not too sure. I think it does. Yeah, actually. yeah, it does. Right it there. Does, it's all rusted out. Right there. And then there's someone hiding behind the shade right over there. <laughs> Finally, the only shot that we can actually get to where you're not covered by the sun, Avalon, that's a dual purpose sign, isn't it? Avalon has such a knack for finding the only piece of shade. I think Avalon would crawl in like a rusty, dirty crate if it had oh, shade. Oh, I would not do that. You no. wouldn't do that? No, I would not. She, she does not like to be hot. And remember we were at the Taj, we were at the Taj Mahal and Avalon found, checked all the tile on the ground and said, this is the coolest tile and sat on it for about a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> She's giggling over there as she neurotically studies the guidebook. So tell tell everyone what your role is in the guidebook situation. Um, I don't really have a role. I just make sure for myself that there isn't too many hills or something. I just like prepare myself for the hills. Mentally for the hills? Yeah. And if there are too many hills, what do you do? Just rip out that page and pretend <laughs> you didn't see it? I wish. <laughs> but um, no, I just start slow, you know? I'm like Avalon and I love that she's obsessed with checking to see how I'm many hills. Obsessed. Okay, she fondly enjoys. Is that better? Sure. <laughs> checking all the hills, the ups, the downs, the flats. And I love that that she's doing that because I like to know that too. I need to I'm like you Avalon, I need to mentally prepare myself for the hills. Blister time. Um, today's blister event has been brought to you by by me. What's up for blister hour today? We have we have a new blister. What toe? In the category. Um, I have a blister now. It is it's a small one. It Second looks, toe. I'm Third gonna, toe. It's kind of nasty. It's, it's oh, don't show right. people that. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's small. It's red, but you can tell that if it doesn't get taken care of right away, it's gonna turn nasty. So, I got my compede that I'm throwing on right now. I never heard of compede, by the way. Until no, not we until came. we started, some people started telling us, bring it for blisters. Yeah, no. Now I, we love it. I, it kind of feels you weird. You don't have a blister. It I, feels like real skin. It feels like real skin. It looks like, like some massive growth. It yeah, looks it's kind really, of nasty. It's really gnarly looking. And if it falls off in your sock, then your sock's like all competed out. And you gotta like, like mushy, scrape mushy. it out. Ugh. There's no fun with compete in the wash. <laughs> Did you put compete? Did you go through the wash? Yeah, a little bit came out in the wash. Oh, gross. It was nasty. It came out like a big ball. Like a big snort. Like a big, like, it was like a big nasty snort. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a big snot rocket. What's our blister count at? Uh, I've got three, you've got two, I Largo's got two. got two, seven. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to keep it under ten. I'm Avalon, glad you're still watching at this point. Avalon has toes of steel. <laughs> Avalon has toes of steel. She doesn't have any blisters. Nothing. She's my hero. She's like the Camino champion. Almost the You gotta pump those arms, Avalon. I'm trying. <laughs> Cool. We met someone else on the Camino working. Woo! Are you working too? I <laughs> know. Uh, I just quit my job. I'm not working anymore. You're free. I don't want to work. So we've got one working, working, one free. Yeah, we don't. None of us want to work. <laughs> so how many hours a day are you working? I'm working about three hours per day. And what is it hard to get in those three hours, or are you pretty like stoked after hiking? You feel kind of strong and. I think it's relaxing to sit down and work on the computer. <laughs> I totally I agree with Chris. you. I totally agree with you. And uh, before we started hiking this, sometimes I would get up in the morning like, oh, I got a 12 hour day. Now I'm so happy to sit down and work. Not that I was unhappy before, but it almost sounds like a vacation sitting down to work after hiking all these hours, right? Car, car come now, in. Guys, car. We're coming. So this is your second one. My second for me. And did yeah. you hike the last one? Um, did you work the last one as well? Yeah, I actually worked more hours last year than I do now. And the company you work for allows you to work any place? Yeah, I'm a um, freelancer for them. Okay. So usually I live in Australia, the company is English and they have an office in Germany. I'm working for the guys in Germany. Okay. <laughs> have you been doing this for a while with them? Um, more than three years now. Okay. 
Now, is there a reason you're doing a second one? I can't imagine a sheep I way to go on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No one has said that yet. I love that. Um. <laughs> well, there's the food is cheap, the hostels are cheap. Um, you meet interesting people? That too, yeah. I met lovely people last year and I'm still in touch with many of them. So there is there is there a truth to this whole Camino family thing people say? Do you know? Mm -hmm. We were just enlightened to this this morning, so we don't really know a lot about it. But people kind of form families on the Camino and then they stay in touch forever? For me it is like that with a few people. Not okay. with many, but you meet many. It's more likely to meet same-minded people here than in your daily life. Okay, so what we've seen, which I find so interesting, is because we're stopping occasionally, we're getting pushed into different groups constantly and meeting new people, which we love. But I've seen so many Camino families who have such great diversity. Like you see a 20 year old guy from Germany hiking with a 65 year old um, woman who was a stay at home mom from Vancouver. And you know, and then it's so, it's so eclectic. And I'm thinking this is great because it's opening everyone's minds to meeting new people. Do you see that? Because, I mean, you're, you're a professional at this now. Oh, I would say that, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I love your attitude about it. It's an inexpensive way to take a holiday. That's, that's awesome. So do you find any, any difficulties trying to balance the work and the hiking, or you just got, you got it down to a groove now? No, when the boss is calling and said we have very urgent work and it needs to be done today, then I take a bus, go to the next destination, sit down in the hotel and maybe lock myself in for 24 okay. or 48 hours. Okay, that's cool. I found that last year for 48 hours sitting somewhere in a, in a, in a hotel and working. Oh my gosh, I love this guy. We are like kindred spirits here because that's what we often have to do. Okay, we're going to work for 24 hours straight and then we're going to hike for three days straight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. We're running into a slight problem now. The way is telling us there's more than one way. Huh, um, hmm. Hmm, this is a pickle. There's this an is, arrow this. down there. Where? There's an arrow over there? In the back of the sign. But is there, oh there, my gosh. But there's an arrow over there too. Where? Over there. Oh. No, that's for the cars. That's on the street, Will. So then why are there two it's arrows? It's not yellow. That's a residential. Someone's trying to confuse us, but that's they're not residential. Fool us. That's residential. That's yeah. residential. You see only houses there. We can't be fooled. What do you think? I don't, I'm, I hate being on the roads. We haven't been on too many. That's not it right there. What's that over there? Is there a shell? There looks like there's something there's over there. There's no shell there though. That's the thing. There's, there, the arrow's going both ways. Ah, okay. I don't know. We have two options here. We have an arrow that points in both directions and it's yellow. Yeah. One apparently goes by the river and one goes by the road, but they seem to land in different parts of the city. So I don't know what we're going to do. Those people seem confident which way to go. Do you know which way to go? English, no. No. Espanol? Espanol, claro. Okay. okay. I'll let you work that one. Eh, hay dos caminos. Hay, hay dos caminos. Este por el polígono industrial. Feo. Asfalto. Feo. Polígono feo. Este bonito por el río. Río. Okay, un so kilometro. That one goes beautiful by the river, and that one is. Un kilometro más por aquí. Por aquí un kilometro más. Okay. Pero más naturaleza. Bonito. Río, okay. Río, sombra. And, and it's safer. Hmm. I say we go by the river. And the shade. And we can dip, take a dip in the river. Y por ahí es todo asfalto y polígono. Polígono okay. industrial, yeah. fábricas. Okay. Feo. <laughs> okay. We are, we are, we don't like feo. Feo no, lindo si. Sí. Este lindo. Lindo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Onward. Gracias. Nada. So it appears that we are going the river way. It's an extra kilometer. And the funny part is this. The way... Avalon? Is the way showing us the way? No. No? Who's showing us the way? Other wayers. Other wayers are showing us the way. But that's part of the way. <laughs> we don't know the way. But other people know the way. Google knew the way, but it was like through an ugly industrial zone, and that's not our way. We like this way. The way, the way, the way, blah, blah, blah. The last 20 minutes is always the last 20 minutes. It's also the hardest 20 minutes. In, in this case, luckily going through this part, through 
the part that's beautiful, you get a lot of shade because the heat destroys us. And in a couple days, we're gonna be going through La Meseta, which is basically, they call it a desert, it's not really a desert, but there's no shade to speak of. If we have to do this all in the, like, the blistering heat, we're gonna have problems. We're gonna have big problems. You know what I see? What? I see someone who's actually enjoying this. I'm enjoying the bed. We just arrived at the municipal spot. We're staying for the night. And we are super spent. I feel like it's my first day hiking. I've, I've got, I'm up, I've got three more blisters. So now I'm at, I think, five. And one of them is actually bleeding. This, this is definitely hard. I, it's day 15. I think we're really feeling the weight and the pain today. And I think something that, one of the issues is that it's really warm today. So as a family, we've kind of taken a vote and decided that we're going to start at four in the morning. I know it sounds crazy. Maybe four. I don't four, know about tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow, but the next day. Because you know, we're going through what's considered tomorrow the... Tomorrow we're starting like at 10 a.m. We're uh, sleeping in. We're sleeping in. <laughs> sleeping in here is like seven. I feel great and strong and powerful in many ways, like um, mentally. But physically, I feel like, oh, it's very hard. We are meeting up with some people we hiked with in the first couple of days and they're taking the bus after today and we happen to, they happen to be here. We caught up to them and they took a rest day. So now we get to go hang out with them for dinner. So we're super excited. How are you? Hello. How are you, okay? We've missed you. We have missed you so much. Oh my gosh. These other people we've been hiking with have been so awful. <laughs> Day 15 done. We are in Burgos. This town is absolutely spectacular. It's an amazing cathedral in front of us, and we are not able to see any of the town because we got in so late today. We this went is out like to dinner, a big thing for us because we're not seeing any towns. And no, our Camino experience is about like we talked our about family, before: hanging with the family, the people we connect to on the trail, and then working. I'm exhausted. We had a heat index walking into Burgos of 89 degrees, which was no joke. And, and we, walk we each, have, all we each have different degrees, days, and we're feeling just spent. For whatever reason, I have a bit of energy today, and he is just totally spent. My spent day was a couple days ago. I was just couldn't go any further. Uh, I think it was the heat. It was carrying the kitchen sink. A lot of walking on pavement today, which is really exhausting. Um, but we did it. We did it. We made a decision. We're going to start like at 4 or 5 in the morning from now on when we go through if not the go. desert, but what they consider the desert part Which of is the Camino. All like wheat fields. But, wheat but fields yeah. and flat and hot. So our plan is to kind of hit it early um, so that we're not stuck in the sun because we're finding it really wipes us out. How many kilometers we traveled today? Six, 21 kilometers? 21. 60. 21 kilometers. 21 kilometers. But 21 kilometers. felt 21 like 30. Long kilometers. Totally flat, but it felt like 30 kilometers. And we, we spent, started. We spent in, a lot. Oh, we, we started, started in Aje. We started in. Ajay, ages, yeah, and we ended here in Burgos, and um, and we spent we went over budget. It's nice today. now, right? We went over budget, right? We went over budget. We went way over budget. We went way over budget because we, we went out to dinner. We went out to dinner. We spent like what a buck fifty. Whew. Yeah. No eating tomorrow. No eating tomorrow. That's okay. And right now we're on our way to the grocery store to pack up to get food for lunch, breakfast and lunch tomorrow, which will run us. Probably we're in a city now, so probably close to twenty euros. Typically it's about twelve to fifteen. Yep. Um, and so we're ending this now. Spain is playing the World Cup right now. So you're gonna hear woo. Background. If they score a goal. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna see you guys later and when Camino. And we both showered today, that was exciting. Yes. Not okay. together, but. They can smell, <laughs> scratch and sniff. Okay, bye. Bye. One of the many ways that we entertain ourselves over the last hour of our walk. And Avalon's gonna play her, tr her trump. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Avalon, the, the talented, the amazing.